consider the velocity time graph below. So we have this velocity time graph and we are asked what is the instantaneous acceleration of the object at 7 seconds. Now when we say instantaneous acceleration, it simply means the acceleration of the object at a specified time or at a given moment in time. So, so in this case we need to solve for the acceleration of the object at 7 seconds. Now since we are given velocity time graph and we are interested to solve for the acceleration, therefore we need to obtain the slope of this velocity time graph to get the acceleration. So recall that the slope of velocity time graph is acceleration. Now since we are interested to solve for the acceleration of the object at 7 seconds, so we locate this part of the velocity time graph where the 7 seconds falls into. So therefore, this graph, it falls right here in this part of the graph, so from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. So we need to obtain the slope of this part of the graph. But if you notice, the slope of this part of the graph from 0 to 15 seconds is in fact constant because it's just being represented by a diagonal line. So if we get the slope of this graph here, if we get the slope of the graph from 0 to 15 seconds, we will obtain and the acceleration. So once again, the slope is constant for this part of the graph and so is the acceleration again for this part of the graph so now let's solve for the slope so we just have to pick two points in this graph then we could substitute it in the formula for slope which is rise over run okay so you could choose any points from 0 to 15 let's choose this point here and that point there so this point will have the coordinates 0, 0 while this point will have the coordinates of 15 and 3 so rise over run that means change in y over change in x so y2 minus y1 so we'll have 3 which is the y coordinate of the second point minus the y coordinate of the first point so that's 0 divided by the x coordinate of the second point minus the x coordinate of the first point so we have 3 divided by 15 the slope in this case is equal to 0 0.2 and since we have a velocity time graph the slope is the acceleration so the unit for this is meter per second square now to show to you that the slope at this point is actually constant let's choose another two points so this time let's choose this point here and that point there so this point here will have uh, the coordinates 5 1 on the other hand this point here will have the coordinates 10 and 2 so solving for slope again it's still rise over run so we have rise is going to be equal to 2 minus 1 and the run would be equal to 10 minus uh, 5 so this would give us 2 minus 1 is 1 and 10 minus 5 is 5 and the slope would still be 0 0.2 meters per second square so to answer that question so to answer the question so the slope of this part of the graph which is actually the acceleration of this part of the graph is 0 0.2 meters per second square so to answer the question what is the instantaneous acceleration of the object at 7 seconds so 7 seconds fall somewhere here so that it's still equal to and it falls on that line where we just have where we just obtained the slope so that is equal to 0 0.2 
meters per second square. So to solve questions like this, if you're asked to solve for the instantaneous acceleration, all you need to do is to solve for the slope of that line at which that point falls into.